17, we have got another game to show you guys. We're getting through, we're tearing through the games today. Uh, we have got Shu, uh, and to tell us a little more about the game, we've got uh, two of the developers here. Do you guys want to introduce yourselves and let us know a little bit about Shu and what yeah. it's all about? Uh, so I'm Jonathan, I was the uh, lead designer on the project. Um, it was a project we kind of collaborated on another company called Super Lunch. Mm -hmm. And when it came to us, uh, we took over a lot of like the design process as okay, well. Cool. Um, and we kind of rejigged and iterated a lot on the game to go back to more old school precision platforming, uh, speed running elements to the game as well, which was a really nice touch and it allowed us to get a competitive edge with leaderboards and introduce like time trial competitions at events like EGX. Wow, okay, so you've really been quite busy then, and Sean yeah. as well. Yeah, I'm lead QA at uh, Okay, lead QA, thing, so. right, that makes sense. Okay, awesome, so um, do you want, if for anybody who hasn't got a clue yeah. what Shoe is, do you want to just, just give us a brief sort of rundown about what this game sure. is about? Um, so Shoe's like, it's a 2.5D platformer, uh, takes on all your traditional tropes of, think of stuff like Rayman, uh, takes a lot of influence from that as well, especially, um, and then you've kind of got this like depth effect with the 3D art, so okay. you're all of these 2D sprites just running across this world. Um, and the whole point is you're trying to outrun the end of the world, which is the storm that you can right. see on the t-shirt and stuff. And okay. you'll, might, you'll see it in one of the levels hopefully we get to today. So I've seen a very cool clip of Frankie, one of our guys, yeah. actually playing this <laughs> game and, and getting a bit scared. <laughs> yeah, let's, let's just jump straight in if you, uh, if you guys are okay yeah, to sure. give us a quick demo of the game. Uh, pretty excited to check this out. Now we're playing on. Are we playing on Switch? Right yeah. Now? So the game itself first came out on PS4 um, and Steam last year. Uh, okay. We later then brought it to PS Vita, which right. happened this year. Um, but at the same time, in the meantime, that we did DLC, and now we have a relationship with Nintendo, and it's provided us the opportunity to bring the Switch, which we're really excited about. As so. if you guys weren't busy enough. <laughs> yeah, that's Switch, true. Switch as well. Oh, that's fantastic. Oh, okay. Yeah. So we're we're trying to run away from a storm, right? Um, this so this is the first level. This is kind of the intro. So it introduces you. To the base mechanics. No, drop it in. Two seconds. No worries. Yeah, it's fine. Yeah, it's uh, it's no worries at all. Are we uh, are we good? Is it okay? It's not jumping. We've got no jump mechanic right now. Okay, we might have to switch up controllers. Okay. Potentially. Right. Okay. Well, let's let's have a bit yeah, of chance yeah, to just, uh, just spend some time with figuring out what's going on there. Um, but yes. Yeah, so uh, I mean, in terms of yeah. like actually developing the game. So so you didn't you weren't here from day one. You you kind of no. inherited the project, right? So I um, so I went through like a traditional background. I went to uni and studied stuff, and I joined the company Coatsync, and they've been working on this title. Mm -hmm. um, I just jumped. It's not working. It's misbehaving itself. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, the switch is new. Let's be fair. Maybe, yeah. Maybe you have to keep them out of the the controller here. Let's give that a go. Is that any better? This seems to be some kind of delay. Right. Okay. okay. Uh, well, it's like we can just talk about the game. That's the, okay. The controllers. Because we have another Do set we have of switch controllers. We have some spare ones. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So we'll do that. So we'll be right back in two seconds, yeah. guys. We're going to show you the trailer now, and then once we get back, hopefully we'll be able to show you a bit of an actual some some gameplay. So I'll see you guys in a sec. Okay, so we are back, and I think we still have got a couple of technical issues. It's always the way, isn't it? Day, yeah. day one, on stage, the first time we use the Switch, and then we've got a couple of issues with the, uh, with the monitor right now. So uh, whilst that gets sort, hopefully sorted, um, do you want to tell us a bit more about, uh, about the, the, the... So as I said before, so you, are, yeah. you, so you came to the, the, uh, the actual project itself, and you're... So the idea was there, like the idea of the game, so the idea of the storm and outrunning the end of the world, that was already there, and then we had different villages, which you'll have seen if you've seen the trailer that we just watched there. Okay. Um, it kind of went along that route instead, um, and as we went, 
Which ones is it listening? So, yeah, the one's still connecting, it looks like. So it may not be. It may be that we just can't play the game today. Uh, that's okay. Sure. I mean, we've seen the trailer. Yeah. We know we know what the game kind of like looks like roughly. So let's just let's just let's just roll with it. So yeah, yeah if you so essentially that you're you're talking about it is kind of like that that run from danger kind of yeah. experience. Is that is that the entire game you're always um, running from that storm? Pretty, or? pretty much, yeah. So the storm won't chase you throughout an entire level. Yeah. You'll encounter it at various points as you go through each wall. So the game's segmented into like five different worlds and each, each world introduces new cast of characters which gives you new mechanics to traverse the levels. Right, um, okay. And then the speedrun element of it comes in s secondary nature, so it's kind of like that is there, but you have to finish the level at least once first. So you can go right. through, explore it, enjoy the art. There are some secrets to find as you go along the way. We have collectibles, um, but it's all about that 100% rating. So every, every, so bright, every yeah. level will give you that condition, find all the, find all the collectibles, okay. find the hidden areas, beat the time trial. So um, we're more talking about like getting a chance to ex like complete the the game at your own, you're sort of at your own pace almost, yeah. even though you've got this danger kind of like following yes. you. And then once you've done that, replayability is the is the time trials, the, unlocked, yeah. the time trials. Um, and okay. And to boost that up, we introduced leaderboards, so it allowed us to build more of a community around it, and it meant we could run those competitions I talked about earlier, which we did through Twitter basically. And it was like it, whoever had the top on this specific level and beat this time would win. Okay. Uh, it, gone from canvases to like art prints of the game and yep. art books and stuff and it just allowed us to engage with the community for so long as well well then that's, that's really cool and i mean are you finding that there's there's quite a strong kind of speed running community developing around the um, game as well we show it like places like egx and res which mm -hmm. happens earlier in the year it's like it always brings people back and yep. like usually it would be come and set the best time and then like we'll always have a time for them to beat to get a t-shirt or yeah. something like that sure um and then seeing people come back every day of the show just because they want to beat their own time they're not getting any more prizes, but it's a competitive edge, yeah. and their friends exactly. egg them on as well to keep I mean, competing. The art style of the game is is nice as well, so it's one yes. of those sort of games that you can play again and again because mm -hmm. the experience and the atmosphere is there yeah. as well. So, I mean, in terms of like QA though, so what was that like to, to be able to to really get a chance to get your teeth sunk into the games? Anything that players are saying this is amazing, or like was there anything early on that was a bit of a struggle? I didn't personally test you, okay, um, so that's not my field, but it's also. <laughs> no, okay, that's fair enough. I Don't worry. Different titles. Okay, no, no, that's fine. This, like, new. Okay, no worries. That's fine. So, I mean, in terms of like um, uh, the maps and, and the sort of the levels and the yeah. environments and stuff, are we, are we mainly looking at what we've seen here? Because obviously the, the trailer had a few different kind of environments. Yeah. So the the first world is like your coastal environment, um, and then you go through different themes. So it gives allows us to change up the art style as we like move on, and then it allows the artist to experiment more, do different levels of lighting and okay. create a different atmosphere, and also allows us to build the storm in. Different ways, so like the storm's influence on levels also appears more apparent as you go through the game. So sounds pretty cool. You kind of okay. go through this coast world, you'll explore a forest world as well, and then right. there's this canyon in area which is kind of more infected by the forest. Uh, sorry, the storm. Right. And you'll like be like gliding through like arms reaching out at you and things like that before the storm even right. appears. So, so this is this is adding more to that kind of yeah. Like, oh, that's a that's pretty interesting. No, okay, it, it sounds like it's a really interesting thing. I'm sorry we had a bit of a technical issue. Yeah. Um, but we are going to show uh, a trailer again now. So uh, before we do that though, uh, where can they get the game? When's it coming out? Um, so it's already available on PS4, Steam, PS Vita, um, and it's slated to come out, come to Switch at the end of this year. Okay, fantastic. So. Well, we're just going to play that trailer again, and then we will see you guys right back after this.